it stands up, we'll see it properly, but it looks like it's got extremely blotchy markings on the right front leg. And that would be a very good way to ID it in future. I hear the other two young ones coming out as well. Oh, fantastic. All three of the young ones on the road. Doesn't really get much better than this. I look at the one that's standing now of the three, Rob. Sorry, I'm just going to talk and... Remember the one had that nice black mark straight through the white part of the tail. The one that's standing at the moment, when it moves again, you'll see it's got a mostly white tail, but it's got that little bit of a black flick in it. So that means already we've pretty much got these four ID'd from very easy to recognize ID marks, which is good. We don't have to use the spot patterns on the body so much. We can literally look at the tail of most of them got the one with the black mark through the tail, easy to see in future. So we get some more ID shots as well. And we've got the other one with a little bit of just like a black spot in the tail. And the one that's still lying down, but it looked like earlier when I was playing like that, it's got a pure white tail. So it means the three young ones we can recognize just from the tails. Look at that, perfect. And then, of course, the adult. At the moment, easy, it's the only adult here, but even if other adults join the pack, you always recognize her from that notch in the ear. So, all four of these dogs will be able to recognize in future. Yago. Uh, Maris, you can keep coming in for. Um, Charles is going to join very shortly. Aubrey will join just after him, and then I'll pull out and there's space for you. So keep coming in for. The moment still just Lala Panzi here. Afternoon, Brian Go. Okay, cool, but I'm going to pull in. Um, Morris, if you copy that, maybe just slow down a little bit, and then um, by the time Morris is close by, the guys can just work out who's next. But, uh, yeah, keep coming. Charles, Charles again. Go, over. I think I need a from and I'm coming from the south. Uh, no, I'm on the road, I'm full, right on top of the road, the Madach is lying on the Ndlela. It's from Shabam Road if you drive towards Gauri Main. So it's between Shabam Road Junction and Gauri Main or Zoe's Road Junction on Philemon's cut line. No, Luton 4, on Philemon's cut line, on Philemon's cut line itself, between Zoe's Road Junction and Shabam Road Junction. So, if you go from Shabam Road and you get to Philemon's cut line and you turn south or southwest, you just keep fumbling and then you'll see us. Also, I think Charles must be close by now. Yeah, well, I'm not sure now if maybe you misunderstood me, but I'm on Philemon's cut line on the road. I'm sitting here on the road. Okay, we're coming back to Philemon's cut line. Go, Brian. Uh, just keep coming. I can see you more through the trees, probably another 100 meters. Sorry, there's lots of people interested to see these dogs. But what's also interesting, and which is a very good thing that's interesting, um, looking at these young ones lying in the road, is they've got a relatively full belly. Look at the guy that's lying side onto us, especially. You can see the belly is nice and full. So it means they've had a meal somewhere today. Yago? Yeah, 
Yeah, James, um, no problem. I'm going to be pulling out quite soon. Uh, Brian, Charles and Aubrey are going to get here about the same time. Uh, then Morris is next, and that's everyone I know of so far. Um, Charles, or whoever gets here first, will be on lock. Sorry, Richard, I didn't know it was a separate vehicle. Um, cool, well then, Morris, Richard, and then James. Okay, copy, Brian. So I thought you meant on the vehicle with you earlier. Um, yeah, just pulling you guys are closest. Um, Charles, Charles again. Okay, Charles, I can bring out your Mova as well. Um, Charles, I'm going to give the lock to you as you hear this Maningi Mova is coming. Richard and Brian are just pulling in from the north. And then it's all open, yes. I don't know, maybe if you want to, to let another Mova in, that's up to you. I'm going to make space for you guys. Uh, sorry, that's just a... Fortunately, the just logistical politics of being in this area, there's lots of vehicles descending on it. This is a very exciting sighting. Look at that last view, enjoy it. We're going to have to pull out, but uh, fantastic, fantastic sighting. There you can see it. Sorry, I thought you guys were on one vehicle, not two vehicles. Enjoy. Sorry, just a whole lot of things happening here. There's Aubrey standing by and a lot of excitement. Um, just again, just to finalize that, it was really awesome to see them in the open. What we've also managed to do is get IDs on all four of them, so we'll be able to recognize them in the future. Is Aubrey coming in. And um, there's a question or two, but we're going to get to those just now. In the meantime, I'm sure you enjoyed it as much as we did. As you guys, Aubrey, I don't know, sorry, I thought that Brian was one more, and then it's two more of us together there. But maybe Charles can fuck out four more because we can his space there. Alright. That's Lala Panja and also Belly is Ushiri and Golf, so I'm gonna find the Maningi, alright? Good guys. Well, that was very good. Now we're gonna start heading slowly back towards campus. Or just